Hi, this is Christian Levac, and I'm at the U.S. Movember headquarters, also known as the Mo HQ, in Culver City here in Los Angeles County. I'm with J.J. Owen. He's the U.S. Director of Business and Community Engagement. So, hi, and welcome to the show, J.J. Thanks for having me. So, we're here today, today obviously, to talk about Movember, and I was wondering if you could share with us uh, how you became involved with Movember. Yeah, uh, so it actually goes back to 2009 was the very first year that I had participated in Movember. I'd heard about it in 2008, but uh, decided to get involved in 2009. I'd gone back to the University of Oregon to get my MBA, and uh, me and about 10 friends, uh, mostly in the grad program, decided to get involved in Movember, grow some mustaches. We didn't really want to run a, a marathon or anything like that, so. <laughs> and, and mustaches seemed to be right up our alley, so cool. we, uh, we, we signed up. Uh, that first year, I think there was 10, 12 of us in, in the MBA program, um, and it was me and my roommate who raised the most money. We collectively raised about 1200 bucks. That was our first time really participating in any charity, raising funds for, or actually like doing anything outside of like donating to someone, right? Sure, yeah. And I mean, suffice to say, we were like in hook, line, and sinker. We loved it. Um, moreover, we loved Movember. Um, so we actually turned it into a class project. Oh, wow. up to upcoming quarters and it was, uh, it was a class called recognizing business opportunities and okay. we were like why isn't this huge on college campuses Movember like if anyone can sacrifice their face for men's health it's a college kid yeah right? some people have yeah. constraints at work where they can't grow mustache university you can do anything so yeah. we we're like this guy this this could be huge and we basically wrote up a college game plan and um, got in touch with the folks at Movember HQ who at the time, I think there was five employees at the foundation in 2009, 2010. Okay. And basically said, hey, here's our plan. Can we do it? You know, we didn't know if we needed a blessing or anything like that. Right. And they're like, absolutely. In 2010, we, we rolled it out on campus and it was like 250 students participated. The president of the university grew a mustache. We got oh my goodness. a bunch of student athletes doing it. And we ended up raising about 13 grand, 14 grand. And wow. That's just been... an awesome time. That's an amazing jump from one year to the next. Yeah. And uh, all and, the results and in a perfect environment. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, Eugene, Oregon is certainly a, a safe haven for, for facial hair, you know, <laughs> let, alone, let alone the mustache. But yeah, that was kind of how I got my start. Um, you know, so I, I had two campaigns up there, and lo and behold, I graduated and um, had an opportunity to come join the team here and you know have some fun and doing some good. So I've been with the foundation since 2011, and this will be my fifth campaign. Oh, wow. So how many people are here now? Uh, in the U.S. office, we have about 18 employees. 18. Okay. And then globally, there's uh, we have some global folks that sit out of our office here in L.A., that, uh, seven or eight. Um, but globally, the organizations give or take 120, 130 employees. So not okay. massive when, yeah. you, when you look at the, the size of our, our community. So you're, you're almost considered like one of the originals, basically. I mean, not from day one, but an early. I mean, the only original I can claim is I was the first ginger male hired. There you know, we go. <laughs> at, at, at Mo HQ in the U.S. Uh, but yeah, no, I was, you know, I've been, been around for a little bit, and it's been really fun to see the organization grow because it's, you know, it's definitely not your mom and dad's charity. It's kind of it's yeah. more, it's more startup. It's more almost like a venture philanthropy, if you will. Like, um, you know, we're kind of going about charity in a whole new way and investing in a whole new way, which is kind of fun. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, uh, fun, lively, uh, irre irreverent element to it all. Yeah. So it, it brings a bit of excitement, and uh, it, it's great. So. You talked about how Movember is growing from employees, and you're now in 21 countries. Mm -hmm. uh, are you expanding? Is Movember expanding to other countries, more countries? In the at the at the moment, we're staying put in uh, 21 countries right now. We okay. got a, a lot of headway to make in those sure. specific uh, countries, but that's just where we are officially set up as a foundation. Like we right. have even more international participation. You know, just because we don't have a campaign officially set up in Colombia or Brazil doesn't mean we don't have Movros down there. So it's truly, ah, okay. it's very, it, very much international in nature, um, and you know everybody's kind of on the same end of the rope, pulling for, you know, just essentially behavioral change in men. Like we want guys to be proactive in their daily healthcare, right? Yeah, it, so, it, it only makes sense. That's a universal language for us. Um, you know, it, it might be tough to talk about cancer in certain cultures. You know, maybe it's a, a sign of weakness. You know, 
as perceived by the yeah. Asian culture or you know the machismo factor in Latin culture. Like so, it could be difficult to have that conversation. But you know, one thing's for sure: growing a mustache and having a little fun with the cause adds a little levity to a serious situation. And yeah, that's the universal language that we're going after. And the ultimate goal is to you know, get guys to live happier, healthier, longer lives. Well, I, I, uh, I completely agree with you, <laughs> and I was really pleased this year to notice that Movember has introduced MOVE. Yeah. So uh, it's, a, it's a physical fitness challenge that allows people to, if they don't want to grow a mustache or can't, or want to do even more, uh, <laughs> uh, to you know, do 30 minutes of physical activity during the month of uh, Movember, and that's their way to participate. So that's... That, it's quite an expansion in terms of who can be part of the team now. Yeah, I mean, it's something that we've been observing in terms of behavior of our community for some time now. Um, you know, you can register Movember events on our website, and what we'd seen is you could register a Move event was a type of category of event over the last few years, and every single year it just kept growing and growing and growing, and we were like, okay, our community's really into this, um, but also on our program side, so outside of the campaign, you know, with the Movember Foundation, the programs, um, we're like, well, shoot, like physical inactivity is a growing epidemic. You know, the sedentary lifestyle is, you know, really hurting, you know, the healthcare standards for a lot of, yeah. you know, men uh, and women globally. So let's see what we can do in terms of getting men to be active. And it, fit, it really fits nicely into our, I call them like our ecosystem of, you know, health, men's health. Yeah. Like you have obviously holistically the foundations about getting guys to live happier, healthier, longer lives, but the funds raised in the campaign are invested in, you know, four key areas, which are prostate cancer, testicular cancer, poor mental health, and then now physical inactivity. And they all they all have that symbiotic relationship. So it's one of those things like, it, it all really works together on the program side, but on the campaign, it gives people a chance to, you know, basically take their, their efforts in participating in November to the next level, whether it's, you know, growing a mustache or, and, or, <laughs> yeah, you know, deciding to move. And, you know, for some people that's, training for a marathon other people it's committing to take a 20 minute walk after dinner with your you know your partner or spouse or whatnot yeah exactly i i, I when i saw that i was that very happy because now there was no reason why someone couldn't participate yeah. and you know myself and and all the other uh mo bros or, or mo sisters but a lot of people that are into traditional wet shaving now can really be involved you know the mustache is no longer you know the uh the uh, objection people give because you have you're able to move along yeah. um, so and you know women can now be part of the team which uh, that's a great big expansion I find uh, yeah well women are a huge catalyst for yeah. anything in a man's life really right you know um, my check up last week was because my <laughs> wife scheduled it right like, and we have some of our most passionate supporters in the community are most sisters and they do an incredible job of you know mm -hmm. motivating men to to go out and not only get involved in the campaign, but be proactive in their healthcare, and that's you know that's all we ask. Um, yeah, you know that's the common the common misconception is that you know a woman can't actually get involved in November because they can't grow a mustache, and that's right. completely false. Like you yeah. sign up, you grow like you don't grow a mustache, but you sign up and either inspire conversations around the mustache or go out and get active, and yeah. in doing so. Get the guys in your life to, to get active as well. So it's a really good touch point and really, I think it's a great new way for people to get involved. Yeah, perfect. So uh, just a final question then. So what are your expectations with Move, the Move feature this year in terms of team participation and with November 2015? Okay. Um, I mean, for Move to, to start, I think, you know, I'd like to see some, you know, decent participation. I think a lot of people will, are interested in looking for something to motivate them you know, during the month of November and why not build it into their campaign? Whether it's right. like, you know, pledging to, for every $5 you raise, go run a mile. Like, can you build that into your campaign? It's, it'll give different people a different way to, you know, fundraise and engage with the campaign, which is really cool. Um, but it's very much, you know, it's almost like a soft launch if you're looking at it from a business perspective. Like, it's our very first year introducing yeah. it. It'll be a little confusing for people, but they'll get it down the line. and. You know, as we continue to evolve the program, we hope that we can build in, you know, how can we build in wearables like Fitbit, Strava, whatnot, like so that you can actually track your participation. Like, I was able to ride this yeah. many miles today. I was able to run this many uh, miles. So things like that are on the horizon, which is really cool. Um, but then, you know, for 2015, you know, we'd just love to see at the end of the day, can we get 
you know, hundreds of thousands of Bobros and Mosistas signed up because they're the ones that are going out there and, you know, really doing our bidding for us. Like, you know, we're a small operation, right? Yeah. We really live and die, you know, with our community and they're the ones that are inspiring the conversations. And, you know, a lot of people say like, what's, what do you aspire to as an organization? It's like, you know, curing cancer, we'd, we'd love to be the guys that did that. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, we, you know, feather in our cap if we're that foundation that raises a billion dollars, but those are, you know, side things. We need to achieve behavioral change in men yeah. at a population level. And that doesn't just happen overnight. Like it's that's, large advocacy, very large. That's, yeah. that's 20 years in the making where yeah. it's like making guys feel comfortable to take the initiative yeah. in their daily health care. It's, it's kind of generational almost. Yeah. So. And it's tough because, I mean, for, for years and years you have this, um, you know, men derive their identity from how they take care of everybody around them. Right. right. That makes me a man because I yeah, take care yeah. of everybody in my, my tribe, right, my right. circle. Um, but we have a unique, you know, we have to flip the perspective in a sense where it's like, okay, in order to take care of everybody else, I need to take care of myself first. So that's how you have to you know, derive your sense of self. Yeah, like, yeah. Take care of yourself in order to, to take care of everybody else. So. Very well. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, JJ. It's that was my a, pleasure. A great conversation. And I uh, hope everyone out there can uh, go and support Movember uh, in their own country and uh, in the U.S. Don't forget the Movember How to Grow a Mustache team, H-T-G-A-M. And we have the Canadian team also, the uh, H-T-G-A-M hyphen E-H hyphen team. That's the How to Grow a Mustache A team Canada. <laughs> but thank you very much. And... Uh, We'll uh, look forward to having a great uh, November. Yeah, thanks for having me.